Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create an animation using objects. And when I mean objects, I mean uh, graphics, movie clips, and uh, other things. Well, basically, it's not drawing like before. It's more of moving around pre-drawn objects. So right now, I have this Humpty Dumpty dancing on a wall. Humpty Dumpty has just learned that all the king's horses and all the king's men finally put them put them back together with Elmer's glue that's the secret Elmer's glue can put your broken egg back together now I've been I've been trying to think of a joke for this guy for so long if you have a better joke than me put in the comments I would like to hear your Humpty Dumpty joke well anyway let's I want to show you how to create this animation I am in the animator workspace and the thing that you want to do is start creating your character and the way you create your character is by simply drawing some shapes and pressing F8 to convert them into a symbol and I'll show you how to do that right now so I'll just take the oval tool and create a circle and this circle can represent any part of a person's body or any part of that object so once I'm done drawing my item what I want to do is go to the modify menu and in the modify menu I want to select convert to symbol in that convert to symbol we want to choose whether or not it is a movie clip or a graphic uh, for this I'm going to choose graphic and you can give it a name hand or something else uh, my registration point is in the center not really important well it depends on uh, what you need okay now we have our item inside of the library so we can take our item out and you know duplicate it now the reason why this is a great form of animation is because these items don't take up extra um, it doesn't increase the size of your movie because uh, it's just recycled items uh, opposed to just drawing every single frame which will create a huge movie now I only have one layer right now and let's look up at the top. Only have one layer. Uh, for more complex animations, the more complicated you want to get, you can add layers, more and more layers. Um, maybe putting one hand on each layer, and that layer handles just that one hand, that one hand animation. But I'm putting, I'm being lazy, and I'm putting everything on one layer right now. So actually, I could just um, bring this out. Oh, you know. Uh, why not five more times Sorry. one more time so from here I kinda have this this weird body going on as you can see I could just increase this the stomach area yeah he's a little bit morbid yeah he's just a little bit obese but that's alright that's alright not obese that's offensive he's husky he's husky yeah that'll make people feel better about their health husky I know they're like, they're, there's somebody watching this. It's like, I don't like that word husky. They used to call me that in grade school. Call me husky. Well, anyway, all right, husky people. So I have this terrible looking object. But this terrible looking object can be your item. It kind of looks like a, a turtle. Yeah, bring his head forward. Right, Mr. Turtle. Okay, and what we want to do is uh, animate this item. So what we would go to is uh, we want to press F6. And that we select the timeline, press F6. And we know about the onion skin, which we can turn on. And when we press F6, it basically copies what was in the last frame. So we can move it ever so slightly. So I'm just moving the head and the hands and the other hand. And keep in mind, these are all um, all graphics. So, so there we have we have that one little animation going on, him moving back and forth. And of course, you continue pressing F6 and moving your item, your object, piece by piece, ever so slowly, creating some brilliant animation. All right, so we have this turtle looking thing kind of moving to the side and that's pretty much for the object animation there's 
nothing um, too crazy about it. Uh, the, and then, and this is the same way uh, that you would um, move around sprites and stuff like that, which I'm going to do eventually. Show you how to use sprites for your animation. So that's how you do your object animation. I'm just using graphics, but you can use a movie clip, which I can uh, show you. Uh, let's create a movie clip. Uh, the movie clip can be animated if you want. I'm going to add it to a new layer. So I'm just going to press the new layer button and add a movie clip inside there. So let me lock the bottom layer with the turtle trying to dance. To create my movie clip, I'm going to go to insert new symbol. And in the new symbol, I'm going to go to movie clip. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to name it. So I'm not. So there we go. We have our new symbol waiting for us to add things to it. So I'm just going to add an oval. Big surprise. Uh, maybe change the color. That's that's the bigger surprise. So bring out my oval tool and just draw a regular oval. And of course, movie clips can be animated just like anything else. So I'm going to press F6 on there. And I'm going to add to this oval. So all I did with this movie clip was uh, make one frame big, one frame small. So we have this pulsating thing going on. So let me add that to the new layer now. So I'm going to go inside of my library, get that big oval, and place it on the screen. Now for movie clips, it's better to add simple tweens to them, which I'll show you in a later tutorial, but let's look at what we have here. Let's play this animation. Uh, this is not probably what you were thinking as far as a tutorial on objects, but this is to show you that this is how you would do it. You see all these tutorial, I mean these uh, videos where you have these objects, they're perfectly drawn, and they're just moving around, and this is how you do them. Um, this is one way to do them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you draw the turtle man and 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 the bubble, but uh, it's a start, right? I'm not I'm not setting the bar too high. We can all do this, right? So thanks for watching this one into Flash tutorial. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, uh, and go to my website on interflash.com where you can click on an ad and help out on interflash. Uh, also, leave a comment with a joke on the turtle man. That would make me. Laugh a little bit. Who doesn't like jokes?